Hey folks, welcome back to another installment of Tuesdays with Dan. I'm Dan MacArthur, parts manager at Grand Bay Marine, and I'm here with my able body assistant, Sadie's working the camera for me. Um, we are in the Traverse City location visiting our beautiful Regal LS4 surf boat here. Uh, we got the bolster seats up, and I figured this would be a good uh, spot to introduce you to some of our cleaners. Um, spring is here, and obviously it's time when you bring that boat out of the pole barn or out of the garage or you cut the shrink wrap off and you notice, man, I didn't clean it when I put it away and here we go now. I want to go boating and I got to clean it. Well, here at Grand Bay uh, in Traverse and at Charlevoix, we have a wide array of cleaners that are going to pretty much cut a lot of the leg work and uh, elbow grease necessary uh, because they're really good, really aggressive, but they don't do damage. You know, they, they clean the marine product, they're friendly to the environment as much as they can be, and uh, they're relatively affordable. Uh, we don't suggest you use household cleaners uh, for the reason that some of them do have bad chemicals. They will get into the water uh, through rain flow or something like that, and it will affect uh, aquatic life. So we don't suggest that. Um, so moving forward, in front of me here, these are the very caustic ones. Um, when you've got a fiberglass boat like we're sitting on, or you have a pontoon boat that has uh, aluminum pontoons there's like a tune bright cleaner this is like a watered down sulfuric muriatic acid mix as is this uh, so these are designed to clean uh, deep clean the deposit marks and things of that nature off of your bottom of your boat uh, below the water line um, they're pretty aggressive you spray them on you scrub them with a brush generally power wash them off or use a hose um, you got to wear protective coating clothing and you got to wear some eye protection because it can splatter back and it is acidic so it could solve some problems but uh, these do a very good job we suggest you do it every spring thus you're not taking big thick levels off you know uh, you're just kind of touching it up every spring and you can keep your, your boat looking brand new doing that moving forward we have a couple of products here is an oxidation remover that's more of a touch up during the season instead of getting into here and uh, actually brushing and power washing. This is a spray on wipe off and you can use a brush um, and then you do want to rinse it off completely. Um, this is a grease off. So if you get grease, trailer grease or something like that, uh, you get other uh, dirt marks. This is also for the inside of the boat. It's relatively caustic, mostly around the water or around the motor well, uh, you know, the inside the motor, things of that nature. By the prop, it's got some grease. This is a good quick product and it is safe. You don't want to use any of these products on, at the dock. It's on the trailer uh, because we do want to uh, limit any kind of leaching that might happen into our waterways up here in northern Michigan. We've got beautiful inland and uh, big uh, Great Lakes and we don't want to pollute them at all if we can avoid it. Um, moving forward, we've got our deck cleaner. So this is now going from the bottom of the boat to the inside of your boat. Um, this is good for things right here. We have this beautiful sea deck, but around it is the actual decking material. This is designed to clean uh, the, the gel coated. Uh, a lot of times you have the uh, non-skid crosshatch pattern and stuff. This is really good to go in there with a brush and clean it all out nice. Rinse it out with a hose or a um, These are a little more specific, but we basically have bird and spider poop remover. Um, they are tricky if you've ever dealt with them. Um, when the sun bakes them on, they're hard to get off. This is a spray on, let it sit a little bit and uh, come back and wipe it off and then uh, aspirate it with some, some other kind of cleaners here down in this room. Um, this is also a black streak, same thing, spray it on. You gotta use a brush to get it off uh, and then you come back with one of the, the milder cleaners and spray nine or something like that. Um, this is a mildew stain blocker. So when you clean your mildew and mildew, this will help it from coming back. Um, if you store your boat in a like in, in your driveway or something and it's very shaded and it sits there for a month, you might notice some mildew starting on your fabrics or things like that. This can be sprayed as a preventative maintenance on that. Um, moving forward, our general cleaners are, you know, you probably, everyone who's boated has seen these. Um, basically, we've got the BioClean, Amazing Clean, or the Spray 9 product. Uh, these are our two favorites. Um, for general quick cleaning, we also go with the Glass Clean uh, from BioClean. It's not ammonia free, so any glass cleaner you use, we do not want ammonia, ammonia streaks, and a caustic chemical that we don't want happening. Um, we've also got some multi-surface cleaner here. This is good for your vinyl uh, and your flooring. Um, spot remover, 
Um, same thing, all by 303. Uh, very good company, very good, um, uh, very good brand name. They stand behind their products and uh, they're very, very... The end is the 303 aerospace protectant. That is for your seats. It's very, very um, efficient at, uh, it's like an armor oil type product, but it does not get slick the way armor oil does when it gets wet. So it's not dangerous on the boat at all when, uh, if you used armor oil and you sit on it with a wet swimsuit, you're going to be sliding around. Uh, that does not leave anything behind like that. It also is an aerospace protectant that's not just a title, it's designed to block the sunlight rays, which is the worst thing on your vinyl. It affects not only uh, the fading and the checking and the possible cracking of your vinyl, but it also fades your colors. Um, you know, when you got a nice painted or, you know, dyed up vinyl like that, um, it's more susceptible to problems. The way we have the piping on the edge, and this will help that stuff keep, keep it soft, supple, soft, and fresh looking for years to come. Uh, overview for your spring, uh, taking it out. If you have any other questions, feel free to call us down here at Traverse City. Um, I'm Dan, we got Sadie's, we got many other people that will be happy to help you. We all have pitched in this year, uh, being a little short-handed, we, we were short on some cleaners. We've all had our opportunity to use these products here, so we're all well-versed on them. Um, please don't hesitate to call or stop by and come get what you need. We are here Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, Saturday 9 to 3, and we are more than happy to help you and can't wait to see you. Come on down and let's get the boating season started. Have a great day.